His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa hosted an iftar banquet for senior officers and officials of the Ministry of Interior at the Public Security Officers Club. His Royal Highness was accompanied by the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust and the Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Labor Fund, Tamkeen, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness was received by the Minister of the Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness, Prince Salman bin Hamad highlighted the significant contributions of the Ministry of the Interior and its role as an integral part of Team Bahrain, working towards advancing the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. His Royal Highness affirmed the Ministry of Interior's pivotal role and the efforts of its personnel in safeguarding public security, preserving rights and enforcing the law. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister highlighted that security is an essential pillar of development, which requires a safe environment to achieve its set goals. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad noted the noble values and principles of the holy month of Ramadan and wished the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness commended the Kingdom's advanced security efforts as well as the achievements of the Ministry of the Interior and its agencies. In this regard, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad extended his gratitude to General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah and the Ministry of Interior's personnel. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of continuing to develop the Interior Ministry services and adopting the latest practices and modern technology aimed at enhancing community security and the development of the criminal justice system. For his part, and on behalf of the personnel of the Ministry of the Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah expressed his gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister for his support for the Interior Ministry personnel. The Minister of Interior wished His Royal Highness success in furthering the Kingdom's development under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. The Minister of the Interior affirmed that the Ministry is continuing its advancements within its development and modernization strategy by increasing the competence of its personnel to deal with various security challenges. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials were also in attendance. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with several Bahrainis who won Holy Quran competitions abroad at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's commitment and achievements in serving and preserving the Holy Quran, consolidating the Islamic faith and disseminating the religion's moderation-based teachings and values amongst the community thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad highlighted that those who recite, memorize and intone the Holy Quran are the pride of the Kingdom and keep members of Team Bahrain, and key members of Team Bahrain. 
His Royal Highness congratulated the winners of the competitions and wished them success in their future endeavors. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad emphasized the kingdom's commitment to supporting and upholding the Islamic faith and its teachings. He highlighted the role of the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Awqaf in preparing the contestants for regional and international Quran competitions. In this regard, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad expressed his thanks to the winners' parents for their support, which led to their honorable achievements. For their part, the winners of the competitions expressed their gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and extended appreciation for His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness's unwavering support in this field. The President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the outgoing Ambassador of the Kingdom of Thailand to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Payapak Sri Charuin at Rifa'a Palace. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad affirmed the long-standing bahrain thailand relations which has contributed to advanced levels of bilateral cooperation. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of furthering the multi-sector collaboration between the two countries to achieve mutual aspirations. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad commended Ambassador Sri Charoen's efforts in enhancing the bilateral relations and the continuation of broadening levels of cooperation to benefit both countries and their people. Regional and global developments and issues of common interest were also discussed. The Thai ambassador expressed his gratitude to His Royal Highness's commitment to furthering Bahrain-Thailand relations and wished the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Affairs and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the presence of the First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a group of young entrepreneurs participating in Biban Juniors program produced by Hope Ventures, the investment arm of Hope Fund. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Muayyad, the General Manager of Hope Ventures, Fajr Saleh Al Bachachi, along with the Director of Project Management and Marketing at Hope Ventures, Khalid Mahmoud Al Rais, were also present. During the meeting, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad welcomed the 22 young entrepreneurs aged between 6 and 17 years, praising their ambitions across diverse sectors such as food, fashion, technology, and sustainability. He also emphasized their remarkable accomplishments. Um, it's not your business today, it's not what you do today. In 10 years' time, in a day, you will be somewhere else. If I got to the same amount of time, if I got to the same amount of time, I'm sure 200% that in no time you will be indefinitely in a, in, a, in a different level, inshallah. And anything we can do to get you to this point, you don't need to be able to help you, you don't need to be able to يعني بوش انتو يور سيلف دريفن ما شاء الله عليكم يور سيلف بيلد لكن بتحتاجون البيبان اللي عندنا اللي نفتحها لكم اند ذيس از واي وي ار هير انتو مو بهني لان يو هافنت جوت ذا تالنت يو هافنت جوت ذا انرجي اور ذا ريسورسز بالعكس احنا وياكم لان يوف جوت اول اوف ذيس انا عيالي ترى وعيال خالد من شد متابعين برنامج بيبان الكبار والجونيورز بس يو ار اول ذير فور ذات to, to look at our future, but you find our future challenges, okay, if you're into the future of the future, the modern thinking, you look at it from a different perspective. We are today in need of you, we are in need of your thoughts, we are in need of the innovation that you can get to. I mean, a lot of the things have changed. I have seen it in my family and in my family. A lot of things change rapidly. ونحتاج ناس مثلكم يساعدونا تو باتل ذات 
نير فيوتشر ان شاء الله حافظوا بس على هذه الروح وي بيليف ان يو اي شيء اقدر اسويه انا خبروني انا دايركت انا يعني ترى مبعوث انا اخوكم انتم بالذات يعني ان شاء الله سكسس ستوريز بكره ترجعون مره ثانيه عقب كم سنه حق البرنامج اند يو شو كيس السكسس اللي انتم وصلتوا له اند ذس از ا تارجت Each young entrepreneur is given the opportunity to share their entrepreneurial project idea and showcase the inspiration behind it. They also share their journey up to be band juniors where they pitch their projects before a committee of judges for strategic opportunities and guidance. The program provided these young entrepreneurs with the opportunity of crowdfunding based on rewards, offering them a platform to validate their project ideas in the market and secure funding from their acquaintances. Mr. Ayman bin Tawfiq al-Mu'ayyad affirmed the role of providing guidance, resources, and necessary opportunities, emphasizing their importance in supporting the exceptional capabilities possessed by the youth of the Kingdom of Bahrain. In implementation of the directives of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the GSA organized the third edition of the Sports Games 2024 in the Isa bin Rashid Sports Hall in Isa Sports City. GSA Deputy Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa attended the event crowning all the winners. His Highness Sheikh Salman expressed gratitude to His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad for his generous directives to organize the event, stressing that the initiative achieved great success for the third year in a row. By enhancing the spirit of communication between members of the sports community, he praised the large participation that was witnessed during the event, appreciating the great interaction that club heads and federations showed through positive participation in the event. The Deputy Chairman noted that cooperation and the spirit of competition in such sporting event is the most prominent goals for, watch for which this initiative was launched. The first deputy chairman of the Sura Council, head of the Bahrain Parliamentary Delegation, participating in the 148th Interparliamentary Union Assembly, Jamal Mohammed Fakhro, affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain demonstrated outstanding and positive parliamentary activity through its attendance and participation in over 30 meetings and workshops. Mr. Fakhro explained that the parliamentary delegation was keen on contributing to the success of the union's standing committee meetings and enriching the ideas and opinions witnessed in the workshop and discussions. He praised the interventions and speeches delivered by the delegation members, highlighting the progress and development that the Kingdom is experiencing in all development fields. Mr. Fakhro emphasized the crucial role played by the members of the Shura and Parliament in regional and international parliamentary conferences and forums, underscoring their significant contributions to Bahrain's successful parliamentary diplomacy.
He stressed that the kingdom's elevated standing confirms its dedication and endeavors in supporting international parliamentary activities to foster global development and progress for all nations and peoples. On the sidelines of their participation in the 148th Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union in Geneva, the Bahraini parliamentary delegation held several bilateral meetings with parliaments of brotherly and friendly countries. Headed by the first Deputy Chairman of the Shura Council, Mr. Jamal Mohammed Fakhru, the Bahrain parliamentary delegation convened meetings with the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives of the Republic of Iraq, the President of the East Asia Parliament and the President of the National Assembly of Côte d'Ivoire, the delegation also headed, held a meeting with the head of the Working Group on Science and Technology at the Interparliamentary Union. During these meetings, the delegation expressed its keenness to enhance cooperation and exchange parliamentary experiences with parliaments of brotherly and friendly countries. They underscored the significance of parliamentary collaboration in aligning perspectives and positions on various matters, particularly the Palestinian cause and the suffering of the Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip. The delegation emphasized that the legislative authority places great importance on establishing parliamentary connections and conducting consultative and coordinating meetings with other parliaments, legislative councils, as well as organizations and parliamentary unions in order to strengthen parliamentary endeavors. The delegation highlighted the vital role played by parliaments in urging governments to adopt positions that uphold and support human rights, emphasizing the importance of respecting international laws and regulations. The Arab Parliamentary Group in the IPU nominated the Shura member and member of Bureau of Women Parliamentarians Hala Ramzi Faiz to be rapporteur of the Arab Group at the meeting of the Sustainable Development Committee in the Union. The committee will discuss the topic of parliamentary strategies, long-term impact from armed conflicts. Scheduled to be held in the work of the 150 IPU General Assembly, which will be held in Kazakhstan. The Arab Parliamentary Group decided to nominate Hala Ramzi after the Office of the Sustainable Development Committee agreed to include the topic in the committee's agenda for the next year. The nomination of Hala Ramzi comes as an aspiration and affirmation of her role and her distinguished contributions in the advancement of parliamentary work and her role through her membership in the Bureau of Women Parliamentarians as well as her representation on behalf of the Bureau in a number of meetings of the IPU General Assembly. In the same context, Shura member Dr. Bassam Ismail Al bin Muhammad and MP Hassan Ibrahim Hassan participated in the meeting of the Committee on Sustainable Development. The Supreme Judicial Council and the Ministry of Justice Islamic Affairs and Waqf revealed that the number of cases resolved by the courts in Bahrain across all types and levels during the year 2023 exceeded 60,000 cases. These cases included civil, commercial, criminal and sharia, and the overall performance indicators of the courts showed a resolution rate of 105% as the number of cases resolved exceeded the number of cases registered in the same period. They indicated that the total number of ongoing cases in all the courts and levels at the end of the previous year was 11,000 cases with an average case duration of three months across different courts. They affirmed the commitment to implementing initiatives to ensure access to justice in order to maintain the positive performance indicators of the courts and the functioning of the supporting agencies. The fourth edition of the Ramadan Ambassadors Council program organized by the Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies concluded. Ambassador of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka to the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Rithrasri Wigirthni Mendes participated in the fifth session moderated by the Director General of the Academy, Dr. Sheikha Munira bint Khalifa Al Khalifa. The Sri Lankan ambassador expressed her gratitude and appreciation to the Muhammad bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies for organizing this successful program and providing the opportunity to participate in it. She highlighted the depth of the historical relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Sri Lanka, which are witnessing development and growth in various fields. Dr. Sheikha Munira bin Khalifa Al Khalifa thanked the ambassador for her participation in the program and for presenting valuable information. She extended her sincere thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Foreign Affairs 
for the success of the fourth edition of the Ramadan Ambassadors Council program. She also looked forward to the launch of the fifth edition of the International Cultural Exchange Platform during the blessed month of Ramadan next year, where accredited ambassadors to the Kingdom of Bahrain will be hosted. The Chief Executive Officer of the National Health Regulatory Authority, Nahra, Dr. Ahmed Mohammed Al Ansari, conducted a site visit to the Gulf Biotech Factory, the first licensed facility in Bahrain for manufacturing injectable drugs. During the visit, Dr. Al Ansari affirmed NHRA's Nahra's commitment to supporting investors in the healthcare sector with the aim of enhancing the quality, competitiveness, and sustainability of healthcare services in the kingdom. He highlighted the services provided by the NHRA's Investors Office, which offers guidance on investment opportunities, the process of establishing healthcare facilities in Bahrain, and the relevant laws, rules, and regulations, adding that the office ensures that investors are well informed about NHRA requirements before making investment decisions. Dr. Al Ansari received a briefing on the manufacturing stages as well as the range of services and products offered by the factory. He commended the facility for its outstanding services and innovative technological solutions. For the third consecutive year, Bahrain ranked first in the Middle East and North Africa, MENA, for financial investment and trade freedom on the 2024 Economic Freedom Index published by the Heritage Foundation. The Chief of Strategy at the Bahrain Economic Development Board, Nada Saeed, said that Bahrain's high ranking is a reflection of the government's success in maintaining a progressive regulatory framework that offers high-yielding opportunities for investors owing to a favorable tax environment, ease of doing business alongside a highly skilled workforce. Saeed also stressed that maintaining these positive ratings is a priority for the Economic Development Board, which continues to ensure the kingdom remains an attractive destination for investment. The Kingdom of Bahrain tops global economic indicators to be the preferred destination for investment at the regional and global levels. Bahrain ranked first in the Middle East and North Africa in financial, commercial and investment freedom, according to the Economic Freedom Index issued by the Heritage Foundation for the year 2024 and for the third year in a row which is the result of the exceptional financial services facilities offered by the kingdom. Bahrain's overall performance advanced 14 places since last year, a notable improvement at the international level. This progress came in line with the higher rank of economic freedom in Bahrain compared to regional and global averages. The Economic Freedom Index 2024 evaluates quantitative and qualitative factors by focusing on measuring four main factors. These factors include the rule of law, government, size, regulatory efficiency, and open markets. The President of the Arab Parliament, Adel Al-Assoumi, discussed with the President of the Interparliamentary Union, Tulia Askun, ways to enhance cooperation between the two sides. During the discussions, Al-Assoumi stressed the importance of Arab countries hosting more IPU meetings based on the successful experience of Bahrain hosting previous IPU meetings which had been praised by the IPU's president. Al-Assoumi emphasized that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, possesses the capabilities and solid diplomacy to successfully host prominent events and conferences, which is recognized and appreciated by the Arab regional and international levels.